Sneaker World, YouTube, it's going down. Y'all already seriously see what this is. I spent the last several months trying to cop this shoe. Don't know why I passed on release date, but I finally got them. Right here. The Air Jordan Concord Retro 11s. Nice. Nice. I can't complain not one bit about this shoe. And before I get into a review, I just want to tell my story on how I got these. Now, for most of y'all, I don't know how it is in y'all city, but in my city, a, uh, a certain finish line was sitting here having a remodel. Okay? I was at work Friday night. Some told me to go on Nike Talk. I went on Nike Talk. I seen this article that said, Quick Strike Concords right now. Clicked on it. That same model's having a remodeling at the finish line. Sat here with selling Concords. And I had no, no idea. So I sat here. I called. Yeah, it was closed, but I said someone's going to pick up anyway. They didn't. So I messed around and sat here and uh, got up early in the morning. I called, spoke to a lady because I wanted to make sure everything was going to be verified and would nobody sit here and lie. She said said that it was all sold out. So I called again like five minutes later, spoke to a dude. You know, he told me one thing, but it was kind of different from what she said and said. I'm like, well, man, I don't want to waste my time going out there. And they still got something out there, but they said they, that they all sold out. You know, he said about 1 o'clock Friday. Uh, uh, you know that day but she said to said that they started selling them earlier you know I guess during the week and I'm thinking like but damn my cousin was up there just some days before that he didn't tell me about no concords being out up there or what not and he said to say well uh well uh so I ended up going back to the article you know um you know that I thought about uh you know the day before and was talking about how the employees was telling people to tell by word of mouth that they got concords up there and I'm like I know damn well my cousin would have sat there and told me. I doubt he'd be a hater like that, but anyhow, I did something I've uh, never done before. I jumped on Craigslist because I didn't say, I know somebody out here is probably selling something by now. I'm like, damn, you know, it's been months since, you know, since these shoes been out. And that's exactly what I said and I did. And my goodness, thank God I did. Because as soon as I said and I did that, I put in Air Jordan 11 Concords. A list popped up. I went through them. I scammed them. I said, okay, this is cool. But I said, let me change it around. I put Concord 11s in. Even more came up. But, you know, but before I did that, you know, uh, you know, I did send out some messages and whatnot. So, people started hitting me back. So, this one dude I was speaking to or whatever, you know, uh, I was like, you know, I like how, you know, how he's communicating or whatnot. And uh, I like his price range. So, uh, I sit and said, what I'm going to sit and do, I'm going to use a tactic against, you know, some people on here, you know, sit and see, can I get them even more for the low? And I'll be damned. Uh, people was charging 365 or 275 250 250 ain't bad for some concourse, just to let it be known. And so, this one dude, uh, he said 265 east side or whatnot, and he had pictures up there, but it was 11 and a half. And I wore 11, well, I normally wear 10 and a half, you know. And regular leather shoes or new buck suede uppers. But for the 11s, for some reason, I need an 11. But for these particular model 11s that became now, you know, over the past several years, they run kind of tight on my right foot. So I simply said, well, uh, these 11 have, I was like, well, let me sit here and see how these might look. So he showed me pictures and everything. That was that They look legit, but still, I got to hound you, you know what I mean? And. You know, so we sent several messages back and forth, like, let's meet up at 3. Boom. I get to the mall, you know, just watch the square mall or whatever, and I be damned. Why wouldn't none of my phones work so I can call this dude to tell him that I'm here? <laughs> he probably think I'm bullshitting or something. But, uh, 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 I was able to send him a message, you know, then he got my message, so I am coming out of the mall or whatever. He was in the parking lot or whatnot. So he pulled up on me, hopped up the car, like, man, what's up? So he had a conference right in the back seat. He pulled him out. I felt the box. The box felt real. It was embossed right here. You now I felt the side of it. You know, it felt great. 
you know, he uh, gave me the receipt, showed me the receipt. Uh, you know, he uh, ordered them offline from uh, finishline.com. I made sure I called to make sure it was the right number and everything else. Uh, I checked every code from inside the box, you know, um, you know, to make sure that the UPC numbers were matched up with, you know, the shoe and, the, you know, just certain things. I made sure to, to uh, you know, find, uh, you know, the, uh, the shoe was legit. He said, I ain't tripping. But I knew it was going to be authentic anyway because when he got out, he was Jordan down. Just like I was that day, you know, same way. So I was like, all right. You know what I mean? So we had mutual respect for one another. And, you know, he didn't come off as and let me lie to this dude and be like, okay, uh, you know, uh, I'm doing what I said I can uh, just to set these to him. You know, um, uh, and proper daylight, everybody should know that this got like that blue type thing, you know, running through it. And the face don't run it that good or whatnot. You know, the face don't have that, that side to side stitch in the head that uh, you know, you know, it's stitched different or whatever. Um of course, you know, I made sure uh, I checked for that, but that varies. You know, the whole carbon fiber thing checked out. You know, of course the twenty three checked out. You know, the inside well y'all can't see it, my life's not on with the Jordan checked out that right there it is so we spent about 10 15 minutes looking at the shoe he didn't give it them because he's trying to make money now our our deal at first was he said 265 but as i was talking to him uh over and over you know um he said and said uh uh you know well are you trying to get him date i told a lie i said and said well my guy at my spot is gonna try to sell me the military force today or whatnot for 240 he sat there and said, if you buy this today, I will loan for you. Now, I already sent him a message earlier since said 240. I don't know if he got it, though, but he sat there and said, uh, like, 250, something like that. And I was like, oh, well, I got somebody right now that's emailing right now to charge me some Concords for, like, 225, 215, another guy 200 or whatever because he really needed money. And I was like, and he got a size 11 for the 200. And I was like, I got cash right now, but I was like, you know, I can get these, but it'd be at a later date. But I was like, but, you know, I came out here directly to meet you to cut the shoes off of you. So, as we in person, I was like, uh, you still cool to 200? He was like, yeah, yeah. I said, damn. So, I'll be damned, y'all. I got a pair of Concords for 200 bucks. $200. And you can't sit here and beat that. Now, in stores, from, from where I'm from, you know, they 180 plus taxes 192. You know what I mean? And I'm like, well, shit, uh, I spent eight more dollars, and I'm good. Now, he, now he, he was being honest with me. He sat there and said that these has been tried on. But as you can sit here and see is that, you know, they still laced up, you know, factory lace. But... You know, he sat there and said, what I did was that, you know, because he said he brought several pairs and he got two left. He sat there and said, is that, you know, I just tried them on. You know, and he said, I walked in them just in the house real quick, you know, just to sit and see how, you know, each pair felt. You know, there, and, and uh, I made sure after I got in person, I looked at them. He said there, uh, you know, he, he was like, just never touch ground. I was like, you ain't lying. These ain't never touch ground whatsoever. You know, never been on a concrete. And uh, he said, it's just a little yellowing right there. I said, that's not yellowing. I was like, people always assume that's yellowing. But that's actually the glue right there around the pods. It's just the glue or whatnot. Because uh, certain shoes, well, people don't sit here and understand, you know, when they make these shoes, Sometimes they sit for a while before they sit and they come out. That's why I would tell folks up uh, before, you know, I used to work at Finish Line Warehouse or whatnot, even back when we got the DMP 11s in or whatever. You know, the shoes sometimes will sit, and over time while they sit in there, that glue will start to reappear. And I would sit and see it when they would come in, they would be brand new, it'll be everything, whatever, and then over the time, that glue will start to sit here and, and you know, pop up or whatnot so i never had an issue with the yelling at the bottom or whatever uh but i told him it was just the glue around the pods or whatnot you know that was just 
you know, popping up, but it's not yellowing. So people need to understand that that's not, it's not, uh, you know, yellow on you. It's just the glue. But anyhow, whatever. Uh, but to jump off into it, you know, yeah, it was a crazy story, man, but I just want to tell it. Here's your um, white upper. You know, very nice. Your black patent leather. Your white midsole. And that blue ice bottom. Now, I can't get it to pop real icy right now, that real blueness of it, because it's very, very dim outside. And, of course, I got this light above me, but it showed, you know, it's a it's a yellow light bulb. And it's, you know, and it may seem kind of dull. So, uh, I'm doing another video with natural lighting. Uh, I might take them outside to get that natural light. So, you can see how blue they are. You know, on the same side on here, or whatnot, the carbon fiber, black panel leather, white smooth leather, or whatnot. You know. Same thing on this shoe. And one thing I discovered... And like my previous videos, I told people I'm not really a fan of soft leather or nothing like that. And when I touch this right here, and I never heard nobody even say it and really talk about it, but the leather up here is pretty soft. It's not like soft, 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 super soft, soft, like short and soft, but it's soft versus compared to like the breads and the space jams or whatnot. I was like, man, you know, it's like really durable. And I was like, I hope these just don't sit here and crease on me like that. But as I can sit here and see, you know, it's just, you can really flex with it right there. You know, it's very durable. So I'm like, I hope when I put them on that they don't sit here and crease up or whatnot. You know, and, um, and, um, like with this pair right here, uh, it's not creased or anything. You can see in this tail that just the way it was manufactured or whatnot, it still got that softness to it, you know. Uh, but it just gives off that look. Really, uh, it's really around the, uh, the uh, jump man or whatever. It's like how they stitched it. I don't know if somebody was holding the shoe, but it kind of like, you know, it was just, you know, pressed too hard or whatever, you know. But like I said, it's all good. But something else that shocked me too as well, uh, I heard it online, but. As you sit and see, I can sit and, uh, tell you myself, like, they did kind of stuff the shoe with more padding than the previous ones had, like a whole lot more, you know, and it actually shows it sticks out or whatnot, you know, but I can't get the jump man in there, I said, because my light not on, there it goes, y'all might, can't see it though. But yeah, man, I know I talked your uh, ears off and shit, man. And but I just want to sit there and tell you know my uh, Air Jordan experience, you know that I finally got these and or whatnot. So you know I'm not gonna keep pressing the issue or whatever. But I will say and say is that these are uh, since the Concords came out, these are my favorite or whatever. I know people don't sit, sit and say that the OGs are bad, okay, and that's fine, and that's your opinion. But I just like how these look for some reason. You know, they're they're very, very white. The OGs in the 2000s were white, but these are crispy white. And that blue side and whatever, that just really helps out on it or whatever. And that blue sole is very blue or whatever. You know what I mean? But it's, just certain, it's the same shoe, but it's just certain things about this particular model that's made me just like it more than the previous ones. You know, I... I really don't have a bad patent cut because my patent cut is pretty decent on these, to tell you the truth, you know, so I'm thrilled about that because I've seen people with some horrible patent leather cuts, you know, but other than that, man, you know, this is my Air Jordan 11 rant, I hope y'all like it or whatnot, um, stay tuned for another video, alright.